Hey Virgo, welcome back, welcome back. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, smash the like button, please. And do subscribe if you enjoy my readings. Um, you can also become a member of the channel. So definitely check that out if you wanna get extra bonus VIP content here on my channel, extra videos that are not seen by the public. Definitely go over and click that join button. All right, you guys, so we're gonna get into your reading the remainder of September. See what the messages are for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And always keep in mind some of these messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits. Leave the rest. Okay. All right, Virgo. So you're starting with the hammer. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistence, working on something. You also have boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, some closure issues, and lightning a sudden change some shocking news coming in here in september okay so let's see let me get my camera a little bit okay let's see what the messages are here what's going on so obviously something somebody put the hammer down on a relationship or a situation and um is rebuilding okay and you are if this is you virgo which it could be rebuilding your life in some way it looks like you're going to be receiving what you need to make that happen all right um there's definitely an upheaval and a transformation and a change happening in your life in september let me take a look i just heard the name thomas thomasina thomas okay so yeah nine of swords energy so you know there's some stress here a little bit of anxiety i feel like um somebody due to their anxiety and their stress has decided or made a decision or is making a decision to end something pretty swiftly like with a hammer you know banging it out here okay and it, it's coming from a place of the nine of swords where there's a lot of grief or some anxious feelings or maybe a feeling of depression somebody's getting tired of feeling a particular way okay do you have the king of cups so it could be connected to a cancer scorpio or a pisces i feel like there's an apology coming in from a water sign in regards to something that just got sabotaged or ended okay um so it does feel like an apology it doesn't have to be but it can be a message of i want to say like something really sweet a very mild kind of message i do like initially get an apology kind of thing going on okay now let's take a look here so yeah so if that's something that you have been wanting to hear from another person virgo um, I feel like you're, you know, it's going to bring things into balance. Um, is it unexpected? Would it be a shock? Yes. I feel like it's completely, yeah, unexpected. There's a past returning. So I feel like it's kind of like, a, so when I say past returning, it's just some type of communication. Um, and maybe they ended something and now they're, you know, reaching out to you to apologize for either the way they did it or the fact that they did it. Okay, but I do feel like it's kind of a, either that somebody's having an epiphany or there's just like, it feels sincere, I will say that, but somebody's having an epiphany, I feel like someone's trying, this person, it feels like a water sign is trying to come in and offer or make some kind of romantic proposal to you. Okay, why? What's going on here? Um, just kind of revaluing you. I feel like somebody here has got you up on a pedestal. Or revaluing you or the relationship. You know, that page of pentacles always makes me feel like someone who's, you know, holding that coin up high, looking at it, um, thinking about the realization. There's like these thoughts, like realizing. <sighs> hmm, Virgo. So... You know, and so this doesn't have to necessarily be like a reconciliation of a relationship. It can just be for some of you, not all. It could be for some of you that th this person just feels like they need to apologize or they need to 
say something to you and make this love offer to you all right there's and but for others yeah i mean so it could be a romantic offer it could be a friend or a sibling as well but there's definitely going to be an apology coming in in regards to a quick swift sabotage situation okay right Let's see what else okay yeah this is like getting some clarity and there could be a, 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 an air sign connected to this but even with the moon I feel like this is somebody coming out whatever has been hidden this person is reaching out to communicate um, and for some of you because of the moon I feel like there might be some kind of indirect apology or indirect communication that's coming to you from this person or from your person whoever they are to you where it's not how can I say this? It's kind of shrouded in secretiveness or secrecy. So it might be kind of like a little bit of a word salad. Like you might have to read between the lines to try to understand what this person is saying. So they might not actually say they're sorry about something. They might just come in and say, hey, did you, do you, do you still have my records or do you do you still have, like are you are you going to those do you still want to go what should i do with these tickets right there's something here it's it's a form a way for this person to get in touch with you to try to test the waters just to kind of see it's like a heat check just to kind of see if you're going to be responsive um yeah so that's why i was like feeling like the page of cups is a very mild kind of apology it might leave you like are they apologizing to me are they what's going on here why is this person kind of communicating in this manner so like for example if you are like no 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 they need to absolutely apologize i don't feel like this person is going to just come right out and say hey i'm sorry it might be it's kind of a roundabout way you know to talk to you yes okay um and that's why I feel like even if you're in the Queen of Swords energy, which can be you, you could be looking at like, okay, this person coming in with this moon energy. There's something a little shady here. Can you tell me exactly what it is? Like, what are you trying to say? And I feel like that might be your response to them if you reply, or that might be your thought process. Like, what is going on? So you might get some kind of strange message or something that's, it's a reach out. Don't look at the, I want to say, don't look at the content, look at the action. That's what they're saying. Don't look at the content of the message, but focus more on the action the, of the message being taken. Okay, let me take a look at you here a little more. So you're going to get this while you're totally distracted. Some kind of communication while you're like working or you're doing the dishes or um, <laughs> maybe hand towel drying the dishes. Um or you're working on something, maybe you're doing some laundry or cleaning your car. It's kind of like in a coming through this month where you're not definitely not looking at your phone. You might have your phone plugged in. You, you don't see the call come in. There might be a voicemail. Or there's a text like you're, you're nowhere near your phone or it's just on vibrate or silent. You're busy doing something else. And I feel like that's when that comes in. Um, you're just completely distracted. I see here yeah you're like you might even be moved on or maybe you're on a retreat or a vacation you're just very withdrawn in a sense where your your attention your focus is elsewhere and that's when the message comes in so that's the old comes at least when you expect it kind of thing um yeah some of you are like you're really focused on a new job that you just got you're really like you have a lot on your plate is what i feel you may feel that way like you got a lot going on in september you might not even be focusing on relationships or the situation that might have happened in the past or if it happens in september and then further down the line things switch and change i, I just kind of get a sense like you're not gonna that's why the lightning is there it's kind of like unexpected like shocking it comes out of the blue yeah you got two aces so virgo you're pretty much like focusing on new things here going forward in your life let me see why is this person reaching out to virgo like okay fine the apology fine i want to reconnect but like what are their true intentions for you virgo 
Oh, wow. Okay, the sun. So, number one, they want you to lower your guard. They want you to, like, they want you to be happy. I feel like this person, like, their initial true intentions to see it, maybe if you still have strict boundaries or if you are going to be, or like, if you're going to push back and say no to this person, you know, look at this. This is really, like, don't come in. Don't come in. So, I feel like they want to talk to you. They want you to... Um, Kind of open the door a little bit okay so you also have the ace of cups right so i feel like this person they want to uh, there's a desire here. like obviously there is an emotional feeling here this person has for you virgo their true intentions they want to try to have a new start with you as far as the relationship or it could have something to do with a baby or a marriage or you know to pr make a proposal their intention here is love yeah you give them this emotional fulfillment um but you know they are kind of like not 100 percent sure that you will receive them and so that's why i get a sense where they're kind of like coming in a little bit indirectly you know not not absolutely direct a little bit more indirectly um it's a little bit of a heat check yes um but i feel like their intentions are because they want to try to recover this relationship in some way it's almost like whatever you are willing to give they'll accept that they just i feel like they want their like their desire is that they hope that you will forgive them for either something they caused you to do or some kind of reaction you had or something that they did yeah it's his shadow side so very some very toxic behavior some very 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 toxic behavior this person um, or maybe you and this person a very toxic kind of relationship look there's karma judgment mm. so this person's definitely getting a little bit of karma here on their end and um, but there is an energy and that's not 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 for all of you but there is an energy where I feel like this person's ha having a wake-up call like a fine like they're, they're getting clarity here okay final decision in regards to you and them all right so i don't know if this is something that you if you're waiting if this is not waiting i want to say waiting but if you're kind of hoping that you guys could like maybe just get some closure on something you're definitely going to have that um if that's something that you feel like you need you might not feel that way even if you're not expecting it you don't care i do feel like it's going to come in let me see what this person's feelings are what their hidden truth is because I don't feel like this person's one who really shares their deepest emotions or, or shares really how they feel. They maybe try to keep things very surface. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, they love you. They're afraid to contact you. They wish they could take back their words. They do have a fear of reaching out, but I do feel like they are going to contact you. Um, but like I said, it's, it's not going to be like a very direct kind of like hey, can we talk? I want to tell you what's going on with me. Like, I don't feel like this person is just someone who just is going to address the issues right away. I feel like it's going to be more like try to reach out, see if you're, if you're still, if you still have them blocked <laughs> or if you, if there's like any way for them to start up some conversation with you. Oh, you were the best thing in my life. See, I feel like this person has a lot of regret. They do understand the connection now. Yeah, they have regret lying to you. So they lied to you about something, Virgo. Whatever they lied to you about, now they're like kicking themselves. Yeah, I feel like this person might have said to you that they weren't ready for a commitment or the timing just wasn't right. Or it was like right person, wrong time. Um, that was bullshit. That was a lie. That was an excuse. Okay, so wherever they go. Um, so many things remind me of you. So like they, they're constantly reminded about you and this connection, this relationship. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Okay, so you're, you're even like, you're on this person's mind 24-7, Virgo. <laughs> And yeah, like I said, they hope you can forgive them. They want you to forgive them. They messed up everything. They know it. 
yeah they know it okay so that's fine you know everybody goes through their thing you know does that mean that this is a relationship that's going to move into something more it's possible but i feel like right now we're just looking at the fact that whatever has come whatever came to like a sudden death <laughs> end here um or there was no closure or no communication about anything i feel like it's going to come in and it's definitely going to be a shock and, and unexpected like when you least expect you're not even going to be you might be out in the garden virgo maybe you're like evacuating from your area and it just comes in all right Someone is still figuring themselves out sexually. Okay, there might have been an issue with that as well. It could be a gambling problem or addiction it has something to do with this. All right, caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. Okay. So it's definitely an energy of, I feel like this person being very cautious, you know, and we saw that, you know, we saw that this person's kind of like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I want to, I'm going to do it, but I don't want to, like, scare Virgo off. That's why I feel like someone's, I don't want to scare you off, come on too strong. Okay, honeymoon phase, tending somebody's wedding. You might get an invite to a wedding by this person, or they might be asking about, maybe you guys had plans to go to a wedding and you guys like split up before that or there was plans to get married split up before that okay that's showing up here move on someone's available waste time it's over all right that definitely you might have moved on from the relationship or both of you moved on because it just wasn't going anywhere all right luck is on your side at this time though virgo i feel like Things are going to work out in your favor, whatever your fa whatever it is that you need. There might be an offer for a date to get ready and get together. Um, some of you, something's going on with pets. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if y'all watch the news, but I don't know what the heck is going on in this world. But there's some stuff going on with pets right now. What the hell? <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, maybe you'll get a pet. Some of you might have gotten a pet, or you're getting a new pet. All right. Yeah, so you do have spies. So this person does have their eye on you. Yeah, they haven't forgotten about you. They they do kind of seek you out a little bit here, here and there, there and here, spying on you, looking to see what you're up to. Maybe just also to kind of gauge to see where you're at with things, like if you're with somebody else or not. That could have a little bit to do with their hesitation to reach out. All right, let's see what their Chinese sign is. All right, year of the goat, year of the pig. This could be you or they. Year of the dog, year of the rooster, year of the ox, year of the dragon, year of the monkey, year of the rat. Okay, that's not you guys. Don't worry about it. Doesn't mean it's not your message. All right. So, yeah, this could be a little bit of a shorty, a little shorty, shorty. There's some clarification. So, you have Capricorn. Cancer, you have Libra, 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 triple Libra. Holy shit. A lot of Libra and energy there. Okay. So September 22nd, someone's 58. We have 65. September 10th. Happy birthday, Virgo. If it's your birthday today, happy, happy birthday. Someone's 32. 1975. Someone's 47. We have 68. We have 80, could be 1980, 1984, someone's 52, right, or turning 53, or is 53, we have August 31st, all right, the initial J, we have V, triple A, somebody needs to like, doing something with triple A, <laughs> you know, like the automobile club or whatever it's called, September 11th, happy birthday, 41, September 17th and August 27th. Somebody's birthday is in November. We have the letter K. Somebody's birthday is in June. Okay, September 1st also significant. Okay, okay, okay. So we have somebody's name has two T's in it. Okay, somebody's from France. 
Uh, Queen Elizabeth. There might be a connection to England or the UK. All right. Let's get your charms, Virgo. Okay. So you do have... All right. You have a key. A key with a blue heart. So you might have like a key ring or something with like a blue heart hanging off your keys. Somebody might. Um, I'm also hearing there's a water sign who's in love with you or who loves you at least. Okay. Now you have a pink star. Um, so this, I feel like there's a medication. Somebody, first they're saying there's a medication with a pink star on it. I don't know what the hell that means. And also, um, <clears throat> there's some kind of connection to like, um, oh, okay. I just heard, <laughs> all right, this is a little candid, but Hey, this is what we do. Uh, somebody's got a picture of themselves not fully clothed kind of it's very flashy <laughs> and they look like a like a movie star superstar somebody i don't know if you have a picture like that out somewhere maybe just in whatever you're wearing somebody thinks another person it's like star quality like somebody has a really 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 good skin or a really great body i'm hearing someone thinks that either about you okay and also you have like a strawberry taffy all right <laughs> licky licky okay there's definitely a baby girl i want to say that's going to be revealed like a gender reveal there's a baby girl somebody's having a little girl all right virgo so yeah a little short and sweet i'm kind of like starting to feel better and then last night I don't know, I was talking so much and my voice is strained a little bit again. So gosh, freaking recovery takes so long, like the older you are, doesn't it? So I'm just going to end this here. Tomorrow we'll be back with your weekend reading. So do stay tuned for that. Um, don't forget, if you want to become a member of my channel, you can do the $2.99 loyalty membership where you get badges, shout outs, all that cool stuff. Or you could become a VIP member. And with that membership, you will get... Um, uh, access to extra bonus content all right so i just want to say welcome to terry poff norris lock rebecca Jonke. thank you guys for joining and becoming part of the hov group right and thanks to the mods you guys are so awesome everyone in the chat and i will see you all back here tomorrow take care i just can't let you go lord knows that i've tried to you said I was the only